who runs Russia. So how many, who are these all Kremlin men? How many people besides Putin are running Russia and who are they? Oh, that's, that's a very complicated question because uh, I think th that's quite a lot. That's, that's, that's not one, ma one man and that, that's not kind of Politburo uh, that uh, surrounds Putin. All the Kremlin's men is, um, that's probably thousands of Russian civil servants uh, who are trying to guess what is Putin thinking about. And that, that's the system, uh, not, not, not that bureaucratic system that, that uh, works according to the plan, but that's, that's the chaotic system of, of men and women who are trying to, to guess what Putin wants us to do. And simultaneously, Putin tr is trying to, to, um, to guess what they want. So with this guess, are they trying to please him? And that's the way how it works? Yeah, they are trying to please him, yes. But uh, uh, there is a, um, a good example in my book of uh, uh, the fall of mm, uh, 2013, when uh, Putin was very sick and he was absent for three months. He, was, he wasn't taking any steps. He was, he was out of touch. Uh, even his press secretary was unable uh, to call him and to ask him. And no one, no one, uh, um, uh, no one was able uh, to find uh, to 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 learn that that fact. It was uh, it went unnoticed by the general public, because all the decisions were taken, all the commands uh, were there, and uh, they all pretended that he was in place, that he was there, and um, just they they were mimicking. Uh, him very well. But it is, there is this idea that there is a couple of people like Patrushev, like Ivanov, Sechin, and the others, that there is this clique which is hugely important and which is indeed, you know, is a bit like a Politburo and in case of something happening they would be the ones who would substitute him and how we can... There is his inner circle of those people... Who are the most important. Who are very close to him and who think just like him and let's say um, his chief of staff, Sergei Ivanov, and, and the security council secretary, Nikolai Patrushev, are two closest men because they, uh, they communicate on a daily basis. But, and they never disagree with him, and that's important. But actually the situation changes, the uh, economic situation can, can change. And um, actually official, um, mm, Crown Prince is, is, n is neither of them official. Crown Prince is still Dmitry Medvedev, who is Prime Minister, and according to Russian Constitution, he is going to be in charge if something happens. You, um, there is an interesting idea also in the book and what you say about that. So who is influencing whom? Putin is influencing the society, first of all, or society is really demanding something, what the current Kremlin government does? So is there is a huge backup of his policies, of the Kremlin policies in the society, it's shared or it's really like imposed? That's, that's complicated. They're fooling themselves actually. They are uh, spreading some ideas uh, uh, within the society using their propaganda and then believe that that's the society wants them to do. So they are, um, they started believing in their own propaganda. They are fooling themselves, yes. And, uh, but, um, but is those, let's say, uh, anti-American um, ideas are popular? Yes, they've been always popular. Uh, in the very beginning of, of Putin's presidency, even before his, his presidency, and I, um, uh, I'm trying to recall that, that fact, the most uh, popular Russian movie was Brother 2. That that was a movie about anti-Americanism, and even uh, um, the the main character was screaming, uh, "Will have Crimea back?" So, and that, that was twelve, twenty years ago. At the same time, you you were mentioning that Putin had advised Shoigu to watch the House of Cards, the famous series. So, do they really believe that the politics is done that way in the West? They are absolutely sure, and they consider it to be smoking gun. They think that, yeah, finally they confessed. 
they've been suspecting that that um, the West doesn't give a shit about those human rights and all that bullshit they are telling them. And now they see that they've been very so very right. Um, and. Um You've mentioned that uh, the Russian economy really depends on the oil prices, first of all, and not on the sanctions. So really, doesn't sanctions matter for the for the Russia for the future because there is this concern. We are ruining Russia. We shouldn't really have this sanction, or we are having sanctions, and that's something which most really of, most of the international sanctions were um, were designed to um, to attack not Russian economy as such, but the interests of exact people. And uh, yeah, that's, that's scary for them. But OK, they cannot uh, go to, to Côte d'Azur. So now they're ha having their villas in, uh, in Maldive Islands or Seychelles Islands. So what? Uh, and how you would put Syria on this map? Is this a successful fight for uh, for Putin, for the Kremlin, you know, the Russian engagement in Syria, for coming back to the international scene, and also, yeah. can how long this game lasts? How long it would be, you know, supported, let's say, by society, and um, can we still go on with that as kind of a card which is playing for? It's successful so far. It's successful for Putin because he was trying to show that 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 he's he's as influential as Barack Obama is. And, and actually he proved that. Barack Obama decided to, um, um, to keep distance from, from Syrian affairs because he's a lame duck and he doesn't want to, to start uh, anything new in Syria. And Putin is active, Putin is successful. He's not bombing uh, ISIS, but he's bombing Syrian opposition and everyone is okay with that. Does it sound but well in Russia, Syrian case? I mean, by society, you know, Ukrainian case had been supported partly, you know, the Crimea annexation, and does it matter for in a... It's, we, oh, we, people actually uh, want their country to be a superpower. How big, with, when we talk to the people, all the interest in the other post-Soviet places, because our program is also about, you know, Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, how important is for the Kremlin, you know, taking, to take care and have in their control all these territories. Are they really minds? Are there minds there? Are, is it at all a topic? Ukraine is a part of the topic of the book. Uh, no, no, that's not. Um, it seems like, like they are thinking about some more global issues. They are Putin is thinking about him as as the the key uh, member of the world, or the world. Uh, does he care about uh, uh, Russia being loved in Armenia or in, uh, in Belarus? No. Actually, uh, the, 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 there is a very tricky situation. No one, no one wants to be loved. Everyone is okay that, that many people are scared of Russia. That's okay. If you are scared, Okay, that means that you respect us. And the final, we're here in Kiev, and from my foreign colleagues, we often hear like, so what are the relations between Russia and Ukraine currently? Can, can these people find their way to communicate? I mean, we are speaking definitely, but how do you think? Have you been thinking about that? I mean, the countries are in war. Do you mean uh, if I believe that the relations can be restored? Yes who can do that and how also to, you know, you know, solve the issue between the societies or should it be anyway? Is it possible to solve the And how do you feel, you know, are we, do yes. you feel that our countries yes. and societies are in war? Mm, no. I don't know. I, I you know, mm, I, I'm afraid that the, the, um, the anxiety and the, the probably even hatred. I don't. I don't know. Look, I. I. I don't want to guess. Uh, I think it's. Uh, it's going to come to an end. It's not forever, because it is, and we, we've got a lot of examples of uh, of um, uh, very cruel wars 
that stopped and, and people and peoples uh, became friends again. That's, that's not forever. I, but don't ask me what's going to happen in Crimea, I don't know. That's, that's, I, I don't think that that's part of, of that question. Uh, it's not. We're here. Okay, thanks. And Thank you. Have a rest. Thank you. Take care.